गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर एट कंपेयरिंग क्वांटिटी इच एस आई एट पॉइंट थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स है आरिफ टू का लोन ऑफ एटी थाउजेंड रुपीज फ्रॉम अ बैंक इफ द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज टेन परसेंटेज पर एन एम फाइंड द डिफरेंस अमाउंट ही वुड बी पेइंग आफ्टर वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स इफ द इंटरेस्ट इज कंपाउंडेड एनुअली इंटरेस्ट इज कंपाउंडेड हाफ ईयरली सो हियर प्रिंसिपल इज गिवेन एटी थाउजेंड रुपीज टाइम इज वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स एंड रेट इज टेन परसेंटेज so first we find interest means uh, interest compounded annually compounded interest we find years for 80000 rupees rate is 10 percentage and time is one and a half years and next we will find the compounded half yearly for 80000 rupees time is given here one and a half years and 10 is 10 percentage so um, for compounding half yearly time will be twice and half uh, and the rate will be half so the time is given one and a half years one and a half years means 3 by 2 years this is equal to 3 years and the rate is given uh, 10 percentage per annum so it's become 5 percentage uh, per 5 percentage half yearly compounded half yearly okay so in the case of compounding half yearly time will be double and rate will half clear so first we find the compounded annually okay for 80,000 rupees a rate is given a 10 percentage in time one and a half years for this first we find the amount for one year okay after this we find interest for Half, next half year in this case we take principal as a uh, amount we take amount as a principal then we find the interest for half years when uh, you submit here then the amount and the interest for half years then we have the total amount okay after this we find the compound inter interest compounded half yearly in the case in this case time will be three half year and rate is five percentage per compounded half yearly and uh, principal is given here 80,000 rupees so let's see how to solve this question question number six first we write here here what is given in question number six first part we write here what is given first? This represents principal. This is equal to uh, rupees eighty thousand. Here, R represents rate. This is ten percent, and uh, this represents time. Is equal to one and half years. One and a half years. So here, first we find amount for one years because we need to find uh, compound interest, na? compound annually. So first we find because here time is given one and a half years. So first we find uh, amount for half years. So um, sorry, first we find amount for one years. Okay. So we can write here. Amount um, for one year is equal to what? In the formula, P into one plus R. This is rate. Capital is small, but this is rate written by rate power by R power n. N represent to times. Okay. So this is equal to what? 
this is equal to you can write here eighty thousand okay into one plus ten by hundred to the power one because we find the amount for one year this is equal to what this is equal to we can write here eighty thousand to two into one zero one zero cancel we will have here one upon ten one upon ten one plus one upon ten this is equal to what one plus one upon ten this is equal to eleven upon ten this is equal to eleven upon ten power one again it becomes only eleven upon ten when you cancel this you can cancel here then you have to have eleven into eight eighty eight and how many zeros three zeros so in this way you can see the amount uh, for one year this is equal to eighty eight thousand rupees okay after this we find interest for half years okay so in this case we take this amount this treat as a principal okay so we find interest for half years interest interest for half years half year this is equal to interest for half years so how can we find interest here we find simple interest prt by 100 okay so this is equal to p here p is presented by this amount uh, treat as a principal for half year so we will write eighty-eight thousand into p r r is ten percentage times one by two year because here you can see in we find interest for half year uh, and interest is This is simple interest. Simple interest is equal to principal into rate into time by hundred. Here this principal is this amount. This amount is treated as a principal for half years. This is clear. Uh, as to uh, by hundred by. P R T P R T by hundred principal rate time by hundred. So here we can cancel one zero two zero and two by this five. Here when you multiply it, then you have done what? You have done four thousand four hundred rupees. So here one zero eight. This becomes one zero here five zero eight eight five the forty zero again it is forty forty four. Okay, this is interest for uh, half year four thousand four hundred rupees. Here, this is interest for four thousand four hundred for half year. So here we find what we find here. Here we find total amount. So total amount is equal to what? Total amount. Total amount is equal to what? Total amount is equal to this year. Amount for half years, sorry, amount for one years, and interest for half years. If you add them, then you obtain total amount. So here you write total amount is equal to uh, rupees eighty eight thousand. Rupees eighty eight thousand. ठीक है plus four thousand four hundred rupees. Rupees four thousand four hundred rupees. This is clear. You will find total amount uh, for this. Uh, we add the amount for one years and interest for half years. So amount for one years is equal to Eighty-eight thousand rupees, and the amount uh, interest for half years is equal to 
400 4400 rupees here you find the amount for one year is equal to 8000 8, rupees and the amount uh, interest for half year this is equal to 4400 rupees clear if you add them then we have 92400 rupees clear so here this is equal to 92400 rupees okay so you can see we find the amount compounded annually is 92,400. In this question, this is given that the RH took a loan of 80,000 rupees from a bank if the rate of interest is 10 percentage per annum. Find the difference amount he would be paying after one and a half years. If the interest is compounded annually and uh, compounded half yearly. So in this question, first you find the amount for first you find amount uh, amount for one and a half year compounded annually. After this we are going to found amount for okay so here you find amount for compounded annually now amount for compounded annually is 92,400 rupees now we are going to find amount for compounded half yearly clear for same rate same time and same principal principal is given 80,000 time will be 5 percentage per half, uh, half yearly and uh, time is given here three half years okay so let's see how to find and the amount for three half years up I, I, on five percentage okay so let's see so first we raise it here and here you find this is the amount 92,400 90, rupees okay after this you find difference here yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so in this case, again, this is given uh, that uh, principal. This is second part of question number three. Principal is given here. Or it is eighty thousand. Okay. Time is time is given here one by two years. This becomes what? This becomes three half year. Okay. Now a rate is given here ten percentage per annum. It should become five percentage. Okay. It should become uh, five percentage compounded half yearly compounded half yearly okay compounded half yearly so here we have time three half years compounded half yearly rate five percentage okay so here we need to find amount for Three half years. Okay. So how can we find the amount? Amount. You know very well. Amount is equal to what? Amount represented by A. This is equal to P into 1 plus this is R rate by 100 to the power N. N represent times. Clear? So this is equal to what? So principal is given 80,000 rupees into 1 plus rate is 5 percentage power n is 3 clear uh, 3 is time so this is equal to what this is equal to 80,000 into if you cancel this this becomes 21 by 20 power 3 5 on the 5 and the 5 to uh, 20 is a 100 so you have done 20 21 
वन बै ट्वेंटी वन बै ट्वेंटी वन प्लस वन बै ट्वेंटी वन प्लस वन बै ट्वेंटी दिस इज टू वाट दिस इज ट्वेंटी वन बै ट्वेंटी सो यू कैन राइट इट अगेन लाइक दिस एटी थर्ड इंटू ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन इंटू ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज टू ट्वेंटी इंटू ट्वेंटी इंटू ट्वेंटी क्लियर बिकॉज यू कैन सी ट्वेंटी वन बाई ट्वेंटी हाई पावर थ्री सो यू कैन राइट ट्वेंटी वन पावर थ्री बाई ट्वेंटी पावर थ्री ट्वेंटी वन पावर थ्री यू कैन राइट इट ट्वेंटी वन इंटू ट्वेंटी वन इंटू ट्वेंटी वन एंड डिवर बाई ट्वेंटी पावर थ्री आल्सो यू कैन राइट इट ट्वेंटी इंटू ट्वेंटी इंटू ट्वेंटी सो ये थ्री जीरो वन जीरो टू जीरो थ्री जीरो वन जीरो टू जीरो थ्री जीरो कैंसिल एंड ये टू टू जा फोर टू जा एट दिस इज आल्सो कैंसिल then we have written ten what we have written here ten so we have here uh, ten into twenty one twenty one into twenty one this is equal to four hundred forty one okay twenty one into twenty one this is equal to four hundred forty one or you can say twenty one into four hundred forty one this is equal to nine thousand two hundred sixty one okay Yeah, it will become ten, and it will become twenty one into four hundred forty one. This is equal to nine thousand two hundred sixty one. Nine thousand two hundred sixty one. So when we multiply nine thousand two hundred sixty one, this is equal to ninety two thousand six hundred ten. This is equal to what? This is equal to ninety two thousand six hundred ten. This is the amount. Okay. This is a ninety-two thousand six hundred ten. This is the amount uh, for eight thousand rupees uh, time three half years means one and a half years and the rate five percent compounded half yearly. Okay, so here you can see you find the amount for the three half years is ninety-two thousand six hundred and uh, ten rupees. Uh, before it we also find the amount for same time. Uh, same rate and the same principles, but compounded only. This is equal to ninety two thousand four hundred rupees. So here we need to find what? Here we need to find difference in amount because the question asked to us. Uh, question find asked to us find the difference in amount. He would be paying after one and a half years uh, if the interest is compounded only and uh, compound. Compounded half yearly. So here first we find the amount compounded annually. This is equal to ninety two thousand four hundred rupees. But when you find that uh, amount compounded half yearly, then we obtain it becomes ninety two thousand six hundred ten. So now we are going to um, find a difference in amount in both way compounded annually and compounded half yearly. Okay. So difference in amount is equal to what? Difference here you find difference the amount. Okay. So difference difference in amount. Okay. Difference in amount. Difference in amount is equal to This is equal to what? This is equal to amount uh, for compound half yearly and the amount for compound annually. So amount for compound half yearly is here defined uh, rupees ninety two thousand six hundred ten minus amount for compound annually. You also find ninety two thousand four hundred rupees. Uh, rupees ninety two thousand Four hundred. So when you subtract it, then you obtain two hundred ten rupees. So when you subtract it, then you obtain two hundred ten rupees. This is a two hundred ten rupees. This is amount difference in amount. Clear? This is difference in amount two hundred ten rupees. So I again read this question. In this question, this is given, and then I took a loan for up. Eighty thousand rupees from a bank 
if the rate of interest is 10 percentage per annum find the difference in amount he would be paying after one and a half years if the interest is compounded annually and uh, compounded half yearly so first you find the interest uh, amount for compounded annually this is equal to 92400 rupees and after this we find the uh, amount compounded half yearly in, in the case of compounded half yearly the uh, rate will be half and time will uh, double okay so in this case and uh, the time is given one and a half year it, it means this is equal to three by two years okay so when this in this case of half year compounded half yearly it becomes three half years and the year rate is given 10 percentage what is it that is given uh, 10 percentage per annum but when the case of compounded half yearly it becomes five percentage uh, half yearly okay compounded half yearly okay and you know very well the amount the formula to find the amount the amount is equal to principal plus one plus r upon hundred so in this way we find the amount for three half years at the rate five percentage for principal eighty thousand uh, we get amount ninety two thousand six hundred ten okay before it also we find the amount for amount for three two and a half years and ten rate is ten percentage principal is eighty thousand then we get the amount 92,400 rupees so you need to find here the difference between both amount compounded annually and the compounded half yearly so we find the amount compounded annually is 92,400 rupees and the compounded half yearly is 92,610 rupees so when we find difference okay it means that we subtract 92,400 rupees from the 92,000 610 rupees then you have been 210 rupees here this is different between both amounts so student i hope all of you understood these questions now we are uh, we are going to discuss next question question number uh, seven so let's see what is in question number in question number seven this is given that maria invested 8000 rupees in a business she would be paid in test at 5% per annum compounded annually find the amount credited her name at the end of second year uh, second question is the interest for the third year so here here you can see the principal is given 8000 rupees and the rate is given 5% per annum first part of this question is that find the amount credit against her name at the end of second year it means that we find the amount after two years okay and the uh, second part of this question is given uh, find the interest for the third years in this question uh, we find interest for third years how can we find interest for th uh, third years here we have two ways to find the interest for third year first we find the interest for uh, amount for second year after this we find amount for third years okay how many subtract this amount for third year minus amount for second year then we find the interest for third years okay our second way is that first we find amount for amount for uh, second year after this you can find simple interest for third years then we take this amount uh, as a street in, in the simple interest as a principal then we find the interest for third year so let's see how to solve this questions for this uh, first year question in this question this is given that the amount is uh, principal is given here what is principal principal is given here 8000 rupees okay and uh, time rate is given here five percentage and time is two years okay so let's see how to solve this question first part of question number one seven seven principal is given here a rupee eight thousand time is given here two years a 
rated given in the five percentage. Okay. That is given here. What is the rate? That is given here. Uh, five percentage. Okay. So amount we need to find amount after two years. Okay. Amount after uh, two years it becomes. Uh, in other words, P into one plus R of R. R is rate five percent time by hundred power n two. Okay, so it becomes eight thousand into five hundred five five uh, five hundred is a hundred. So one upon twenty twenty one plus one upon twenty. It becomes what? It becomes twenty one. Upon twenty power two, this is equal to what? This is equal to eight thousand into twenty one into twenty one by twenty into twenty zero zero twenty and the other four to the eight. Okay. So we have here a uh, twenty into four into four four. Ah, uh, sorry, twenty one into twenty one. It should become four hundred forty one. Four hundred forty-one again. So this is equal to what? It multiplies in the new abundance of which will eight hundred thousand eight hundred twenty. Okay. So after in that two years, her account eight thousand eight hundred twenty will credited. Okay. This is the amount. Amount. After two years, of his of her account will be credited eight thousand eight hundred twenty rupees. Okay. Now we need to find what next. We need to find interest for third year. So for this, it's it is the principal. It is treat as this is this amount treat as the principal for third year. So we find here interest. Interest for third year. Okay, interest for uh, third year. This is equal to what? Do you know how to find simple interest? Yes, of course you will. You know very well. P R T upon hundred. P means principal, R means rate, and T means time by hundred. So here eighty. Uh, sorry, eight thousand. Is eight hundred twenty rupees. This is principal. R. This is given five percent. T times two years and by hundred. Okay. Clear. Here time is one year because. Okay. Time is one year because we find interest for third years. Okay. Not three years. So time is here. We take one year. So if you cancel one zero by this zero, clear, and five to the ten. Okay. When you divide it, then you obtain a rupees four. Again four one four hundred forty one. In this first third years, we find here. Four hundred forty-one rupees. In this in this question, this is given that Maria invested eight thousand rupees in a business. She would be paid interest at five percentage per annum, compounded annually. Now find the amount credited against her name at the end of a second years. The interest for third years. So first we find amount for two years. So in this way you can see we find the amount for two years is eight uh, eight thousand eight hundred at twenty rupees. Clear? And this is the amount that credited against her name at the end of second years eight thousand eight hundred twenty rupees. And uh, after this, you find the interest for third years. 
service we take time one years and the principal is 8,820 rupees this amount becomes principal for the interest for up 30 years and the time is we take one year and that is given 5 percentage so we use formula to find uh, interest is PRT upon 100 or you can say ART upon 100 so A is given the rate 1,825 years rate is given 5 percentage time is taken one year so if you simplify this then you have to 444 441 rupees okay this is the interest for third year so student i hope all of you understood this question thank you for watching jain